Okay, well, I'm so excited that Halo Infinite launched early. I absolutely love Halo. Grew up playing it, Halo 1, 2, and 3 at least, um, in late middle school and then high school. It's responsible for me not having a 4.0. At least that's that's uh, all, it's my story and I'm sticking to it. Uh, <laughs> And anyway, I'm very excited for Halo Infinite being a PC title, as um, I am really more of a PC gamer these days. So let's go ahead and test things out. Now, what are we doing here? This is currently an RX 6800 XT. We are at 4K native right now. I have the minimum frame rate turned off, and it's important to actually understand this. This is a dynamic resolution scaler. Some people think that they can just set this to 60 and it's not doing anything other than boosting your frame rate. It is resolution scaling, although I will mention the resolution scaler in this game is extremely good. I highly recommend using it. It's great. Um, I have the uh, V-Sync off and unlocked my frame rate, and we are at ultra settings. So let's play on these settings for a bit, and I'm on the big team battle playlist. Uh, because I want it to be as demanding as possible. So we are in the 12v12 big team battle playlist. And the CPU here is very high end. We have an R9 5950X with 32 gigabytes of 3600 megahertz CL16 timing RAM. So very high end on all that. And is pressing two not actually switch res uh, switch weapon? It looks like I need to actually scroll wheel on my mouse. I don't like that. Well, it is not looking like we're hitting a stable 60 FPS at 4K Ultra Native. It does look like it might be a 60 average or at least close to it. In other words, in the easier scenes where I'm like looking at you know part part of this rock, you know. We're a little bit over 60, but looking out here with more character models and everything, we do drop down into the mid-50s. So there's a few things we can test out here. We can try resolution scaling, and we can also try lowering settings. Although in-game, I think lowering settings, um, some of the settings don't fully take effect unless you restart the game, which I can't do while I'm in the middle of a match. So do keep that in mind. Let me kill this guy and or possibly die. <laughs> and if I'm out of combat here, we'll try dropping. Um, actually, let's try the resolution scaling first. So let's go down to a 83%, let's go 84% resolution scale. So this is about 1800p. It won't let me set it exactly. And the resolution scaler in this game looks extremely good. I've got to be honest, I don't really notice much difference at all right now, other than the fact that my frame rate is better. We are now consistently over 60 FPS, even as we have more demanding stuff going on. And with less demanding scenes, we'll go up into the 70s. So the resolution scale, even keeping everything at ultra, I think is a fantastic trade-off the Temporal Anti-Aliasing Upscale, the TAAU, which is what I believe this game is using, some version of that, looks fantastic. I honestly think it's better than FSR and right up there with DLSS. I know it's not using the AI upscaling, but it I don't think it needs it, guys. It looks fantastic. So I highly recommend uh, upscaling your image in this game to increase your performance. I think it looks very good. Like I said, you can also do that using the minimum frame rate feature, which is another good possibility. I'm out of ammo. I've noticed that in this Halo, they seem to give you very small clip sizes. I think they're trying to encourage you to pick up different weapons on a regular basis rather than just using the same one all the time. Ooh, it just had a big stutter in my frame rate right there. All right. I am going to scale our resolution down a bit further. Let's go on down to, let's go down to basically 1440p. So it looks like the closest we can get is a 67% resolution scale, which is about 1440p. Respawn and see how that goes. All right, it's looking like we are up in the 80 to 90 some frame rate uh, here with more going on. It looks like we're in the 
mid 80s here in combat. We're even approaching 90. So this is pretty good. And man, guys, I've got to say, on my 4K screen, it's still hard to tell this is resolution scaling. In my opinion, this is better upscaling than FSR and most other games I've seen. This is a very good re uh, resolution scaler. I know I'm repeating myself, but I've got to keep saying it. It is a very good resolution scaler. What is this? Ravager? Oh, is this when I charge up and then it like poisons the ground around him or something? Running out of ammo, guys. I'm gonna have to use the needler. Gonna have to use. Oh, he's dead. Never mind. Wait, do I have their flag? Guys, I was gonna adjust settings, but I feel like I have a. Uh, I was gonna say I have a responsibility. I have a flag, but. <laughs> oh well. Okay, let's scale down to 1080p. So, 50% resolution scale, we are now at a 1080p upscaled to 4K. And looks like we're bouncing around over 100 FPS. We do drop into the 90s occasionally. At least I saw it for a second, but it looks like we're actually pretty consistently over 100 FPS now. Oh, there's in the 90s there again for a second. And I've got to say, guys, even upscaling from 1080p to 4K, this is extremely close to looking like native 4K on my screen. I am not even kidding. I might actually do this when I'm just playing the game, not for videos. Remember, we're still at the ultra settings, so we can also try turning some settings down a bit. But I am just extremely impressed by this uh, by this resolution scaler. Very good. All right, next thing I want to try is I'm going to be at 100% resolution scale, but not really. We're going to use minimum frame rate. So minimum frame rate is a dynamic resolution scaler. And I'm going to set it to 120. And we're going to just see what happens. <laughs> so can we hit 120 at ultra settings 4K? It looks like it's struggling a bit to do it. These frame rates seem pretty close to the ones I was getting when I set it to 1080p. So I think that might be as far as it's willing to go on the dynamic resolution scaler. But I just wanted to show you guys that the dynamic resolution scaler is a pretty cool feature. You just kind of set the frame rate you're trying to hit and away you go. Although you could also turn down actual graphics settings. I need to adjust my mouse sensitivity. There we go. What do you have? Do you have the grab hammer? Yeah. I'm really enjoying this game by the way. I feel like this is some of the best Halo multiplayer that they've had in a long time. I honestly felt like it went downhill after three. This one's feeling pretty good. Killing spree. All right, so I've got a sword and a gravity hammer. That's not really a good combo because I don't have any range. <laughs> um, but hey, this is a graphics testing video. I should probably be actually doing more of that. Okay, so let's actually just see if, what if we set 60 for the minimum frame rate? So we allow the dynamic resolution scaler to do its job and see what happens. I want a gun. Can I have a gun? <laughs> okay, so you can see we're hanging out in like kind of the mid 60s now. So I think it's doing its job. It's keeping us above 60 FPS. And the resolution scaler is so good that honestly, if if you didn't tell, if I didn't tell you that I was resolution scaling right now, I doubt you would know it. I don't understand what that gun is or is doing. But hey, we got to kill with it. Okay, now we are going to go back to um, native resolution at 4K. And 
Again, notice we're a little bit below 60 FPS. And now we're going to turn down some settings. Although keep in mind, this isn't perfect because I'm not going to be restarting the game. Notice a setting has changed that requires a restart of the game to take effect. So this isn't perfect. And OK, our frame rate is improving a bit. I feel like we are staying closer to 60 like more of the time. Maybe we'll uh, get in one of these. That's always fun. And uh, yeah, I don't know. It looks like at high settings, again, it's not perfectly set to high. Some of them won't turn down until there's a restart. It is looking like we're doing pretty well here. Around 60 FPS. I don't want to die in the... Should, should, I get the, should I get the flag? We're actually playing the game, guys. This is not just a graphics test. We want to win. Drive my drive my car, dude. Where's where's my driver? My driver failed me, guys. He got out. All right, we're gonna go down to medium settings again. A setting has changed that requires a restart. So these are mostly medium settings. Again, it would require an actual restart to get this tested out for sure. Okay, looks like we are now much more consistently over 60 FPS, going up into the 70s at times. Come on. Come on. Let me get this guy. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? This way, this way? There he is. His shield's back up. Come on. Am I firing that too fast? I don't know if the fire rate, what the fire rate needs to be on this. My grenade not get him. Ah well. Okay, let's go ahead and go down to low settings. Once again, just a reminder that these aren't really completely low settings until you restart the game. So I would imagine the frame rate would actually be a bit higher and things would look a bit worse if I restarted the game, but I can't just constantly restart the game. I'll get banned from matchmaking <laughs> if I keep leaving. That actually happened earlier today when I was trying to make my uh, GTX 1060 video. <laughs> got my assist, although I got grab hammered. Okay, so... The last thing I'm going to do here is say, what if we just leave it on low settings and then um, make sh keep the texture quality up because we have tons of VRAM. And that might be one of the effects that isn't even taking effect. I'm not sure. And then let's just drop this all the way down to 1080p in the res scaler and see if we can actually start pushing over 120 FPS. And it looks like we can. Hey, we're going to actually capture a flag. Look at us go. And I know I'm a broken record, guys, but I'm so impressed by this resolution scaler. This is one of the best like 1080p upscales to 4K that I have seen. Is hit scan or do I have to lead? I think it's hit scan. What's my melee button? I don't know my melee button. I got him. <laughs> Okay, well, so what settings would I actually play on? I think with my RX 6800 XT and considering the fact that I'm on a uh, 4K monitor, I think I'm actually gonna play at ultra and I'm gonna upscale from probably about 1440p. The upscaler in this game is great. And these frame rates feel pretty solid. Although, honestly, guys, I don't know. I, that, that, that upscale is so good that I might honestly just upscale from 1080p when I'm playing competitively. And it looks pretty dang good. I do have a 120 refresh rate monitor. So maybe we go down to like medium. Let's get me pretty near the top. 
All right, we got like 20 seconds left in the match, so I think I might as well just finish out the capture the flag match, guys. So feel free to stick around. I'm going to uh, play on these settings and see if this is kind of where I'd like to be for competitive play. I kind of feel like it is. I don't understand what this gun is. Make it count, Spartan. Oh, we got three minutes of overtime. What is this? I don't understand this gun. Let's just shoot him with a pistol. All right, is my team going off in the uh, the thing? That was pretty bad. I just missed a lot. Double kill. Hey, I got an achievement. Look at me go. Ah, uh, out of ammo. Is there a gun down here? Here's a gun. Oh no, I'm reloading. Hey, I'm I'm reloading. Don't you try to melee me while I'm reloading. Now I'm reloading again. No, 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 no. Got him. Okay. That was a pretty bad fight, but we won it. Let's get our guy to win the match. I think we're about to win. Hey, we did it. Victory. So that's the important thing. We got to test out the graphics, but we also need to win the game. I hope all of you have an excellent day.